Hello everyone, so today we will proceed with our tutorial on the star B and we just completed the arrow so let's move to the back as the back as you can see it's uh, missing a lot of details just have this hole and two plugs so let's make a dance or something like that okay so let's duplicate the, this back plane and let's try to make dance in here okay so let's extrude it point one okay great select again extrude it and uh I'll add one segment in here and we see that we have some kind of problems okay let's do it manually and uh, just make sure that the line is great yeah great okay what's next okay we have a uh, Few options how to achieve this. I mean, the same result. I'm choosing uh, working proof what let's say like that. And later on, I will show you how how you can proceed that you uh, different let's say version or different style up to you. Okay. So this is the part which we really don't need. Let's check this out on the small preview <coughs> how it will look. And it looks looking pretty good to be honest. Yeah, we need to have this uh, uh like a smooth in here, let's say, yeah. So and do it. Right, so like that and basically we need something in the middle I mean somewhere here let's try to smooth it yeah and this angle is pretty looking pretty decent you know okay for a bottom part definitely we can see we have the issues so let's select the loop or deselect these guys only these two lines will be Let's it, bring it down a bit. Yeah. Great. And uh, for the this bottom part, I will select the vertex point. Try to something like this in order to be consistent. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So what we can do next? Select this line closer to the plane Let's move it I can even play with a smooth preview and try to play with a angle yeah okay so looking pretty decent maybe it's too big I mean too much smooth on the surface in that scenario, we can select these guys and uh, maybe these guys as well and just push it a little bit closer to that main surface. Yeah, okay, now it's definitely looking better. Great, so uh, what next? As uh, can see issues in here, so we definitely. We need uh, to get a support in here. Okay, so let's select multi cut and throw support line in here. Let's check it out. And as you can see, this line helps to get proper, let's say, alignment. Yep, okay, we have some kind of problems in here. Uh, when we was 
pushing closer to the plane. We forgot about this line, so let's try to fix this issue test. Yeah, okay, let's move it again. Move preview, press free button. Okay, and as you can see, we have that then. Great, and if you I want to have some kind of close look or something like that. You can even go even further and put it in in order to not see that hole, or you even can cut it off of this uh, this part. Yeah, great. So I will probably delete this part. Yeah, leave it like that. And later on, if we will need to fill. The divisions, as you can see, missing divisions, it hardly can achieve this uh, cuts, yeah. So, what we can do, and try to break the line. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we can insert in here, in the middle, on edge loop, if you want, definitely if you want, just in order to get a sharper line in here. But in my case, I really don't like that. So, looking pretty good right now, so we'll do, we'll try to trace with all lines okay. as you can see they, they are not straight they are lifting a bit so I want to see on the okay, they have the straight lines so I'm just making sure that uh, everything is straight and the reason is why, because I will be duplicating it at the bottom. And so in that order, I need to have the three lines. Yeah. Great. So how many of these wins do we want? I don't know. Four. Okay. Let's and four. So if we will need more, definitely can do that. Okay. So. Just work. Just duplicate the faces so I extract it and duplicate it a few. Okay. And great. You can see the pattern. So let's combine everything and uh, and uh, poly modeling, just press this button to combine. Yeah, to the vertex, left everything and merge. Yeah. Great. Let's check this out. How to look and look pretty decent. And we can now replace this back plane, and it's definitely looking better. Okay. Uh, problems in here while we move everything. And get that. This one probably I will hide it for now. Or let's move it from the main group. Okay. okay, so we have events, and from the side view, I really don't like that they sticking out. So you know, I will probably just select them and try to push them. Something like that, great. And uh, yeah, now they are floating. Let's go to this knob, knob, and try to rearrange it. Great. And um, it's 
doesn't look very bad, but I don't like this uh, shape missing. There is uh, missing some kind of connection or something like that. Okay, you know, so I will probably select this loop, extrude it. And uh, oh. so I'll try to <coughs> align with uh, this surface. Yeah. Let's go to the edges, do bevel, and remove the chunk. Now, let's check it out how to look. Mm -hmm. Much better. Cool. These areas need to fix. Don't look right. Yeah. So what we will do in this scenario? Definitely we will select edges. And not okay. So let's do bevel. Remove the chamfer and play with a correction. That's something like that will be looking great. And now, here that's in the wireframe, we can see we have very nice platelet and backlight. Yeah, yeah, it's looking definitely better than before. Okay, so stay tuned, cheers, and goodbye.